Burn Unit with your host, the amazing Jonathan. Hi, welcome to another week of Burn Unit. I'm here with Sophie Evans, my co-host. Hey, cool. And uh, you look good. Cheers, thanks. I didn't realize this was in the contract, but then I read it again, and I here like we it. are. I like it. Doesn't I that like look good? Thank you. What, you. what a girl won't do to keep a job is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm wearing it because I do drugs and I sweat. But you're doing it because... Because I want to be so cool. Because you want to be with, with me. You want to be, be me. Amazing. Yeah. Someday you will be. <laughs> cool. Let me cool. see. Let me see. No track marks. Long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> so look at this. Sorry. Look at that. Speaking of uh, white powder, I got a vial of white powder here. Scorch gave me this. And uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Scorch, Scorch, Scorch the Clown brings me explosives every time he sees me. La yesterday or the day before yesterday, he brought me a, a cannon that it just, uh, you don't want this anywhere near your house. Uh, Who would? I, yeah. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, you got white on that finger. You got it right out. Oh, my mic just fell. All right. You're going to have to hold my mic. I'm, I'm going down the front of the no, shirt. No, no, you're not. You wish. All right. What a girl I do to keep a job. Oh, I just did that line. <laughs> Here, grab it. See all that tape? Yeah. Useless. All right. Some goes on my thumb. If I blow up, Scorch, if this even hurts me a little bit, I'm going to hug him, kick you right in the balls. I swear to God. And it's nice that I got to get closer by holding the mic. How did you get it to stuff to even stick to your finger? I got it all over every finger. Oh, great. That's comforting. Oh, look at this. This is a mess. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Scorch, did you lick your fingers? No, just hold the bottle. Yeah. Pitch, yeah. Thumb, turn it upside down. Did that. Okay, turn it back. Yeah. You should have a little dot. A little tiny dot. Now do the same with the other bottle on the thumb. All right. All right. Is there press little? them together and uh, push right. them real hard. That's... Pinch him? Yeah, no friction fast. Oh, you son of a bug there! Oh! <laughs> wow! I like that. Watch this. The both both are open. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really that strong? That yeah. looked really good. Yeah, it'd be cool if you go like like using the, use it in your magic show, huh? Wouldn't that be yeah. cool? Yeah, but stopping and putting it on your fingers kind of slows school, the show down. You know, a school teachers should use that. You know, when they're going, kids, kids, pay attention. They went bam. The kids would be like, okay, yeah. what are you learning today? Yeah. <laughs> I would have paid attention. All that technology, we can't get a mic to stick to my fucking shirt. I know, but yet we, you know, All right. manage that's. Well, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go to a commercial, and we're going to. Uh, do you want to do a trick? Oh, why not? Okay. We can, well, we can well, I like your pants, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Very it's, nice. It's going with the, the magic theme, kind yeah. of, because I think they'll make up for the trick that I'm going to yeah. do. So, oh, your cards are cracked. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here we go. little magic mystery. Napkin trick. Too good right. for the room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. All right. I drew my nose on that earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. It's still white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are we? Watch me live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my watch just did that. Oh, all right. So here we go. Napkin trick. Little napkin trick. You take the middle of the napkin and a uh, lighter. And we've got a lighter. Here we go. And we're going to burn the napkin. <laughs> We're going to blow the napkin out. We will wait a second for it to cool, or I will and burn myself. And uh, here we go. <laughs> and it's completely what restored. What the fuck? Ta da! Here we go. Holy thumb tip. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I, so, how was it done? Um, <laughs> kind of, She's going to teach. She's going to show us. It was kind of done averagely and sped up. But um, it's very simple. Uh, the, really, the only key is I'll do it this way. Thumb tips here, as you probably guess, is a piece of napkin ripped out from another one. Preferably what, is the why? what is a thumb tip? I've never seen this show before. It's a one of those. Right. And how do you get one of those? Kill somebody and hollow out their thumb. How else? Yeah. yeah. And, um, and anyway, then you need to get Does the stuff work out. not if you're black, by the way. <laughs> no, you'd have to paint it. So you have another Wait piece. Wait a minute. Yeah, see, it's a sneaky second piece. 
it's a bit like the ribbon trick we did a few weeks back, but not. Yeah. But the most easy thing is it's really simple because you just preset it with your thumb sliding in so it's there on your thumb. And when you grab the napkin, if you take the middle piece and as you pull your thumb out, you pull the fake center up, burn it, stick it back in. The reason I say pause is because sometimes I don't and I burn myself. And that's it's sort of a high, not good. So then, bam, you steal it out and you show the napkin. There you go. It's all for you. Napkin. Right. Very good. Napkin. Ah, napkin. Watch. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, I see mm. that. Ah. Mm. Partner, how? I only had one. <laughs> That's right, I had one in my mouth already to begin with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, you're okay. <laughs> I think I can do it. Fuck with that. I don't. Hey, I'm gonna do a napkin trick for you. You're gonna like it. Is that what it was? Keep it in your hand. You look like you put it away, but don't. Keep it in your hand. Palming. Palming. See? It's, it's a natural thing that sells you it. Can't tell I have it in my hand. <laughs> so if I start, oh look, a napkin. Mmm, mouth. Same one, all the time. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't know how you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it's kind of a cool tie-in though, isn't can it? Can I for, see your... For the next can year. I see your um tip thay? Um tay, tip thay. Here's another one you can do with, with, with the thumb tip. Um, Make it so it's natural. <laughs> point it at their eyes, because that's the way they can't really see it if you point it. Like, watch, I'm going to show you a trick, okay? You're going like, to right? like this. Yeah, I wouldn't have seen I'm that. I'm going to take this card and balance it on the palm of my hand. And what you do is you're actually balancing. I, don't, I can't do it because I'm fucking so drug addled. All right. <laughs> but I hear it can't be done. <laughs> We're going to be here with Tom Mullica, ladies and gentlemen. We've been waiting a long time for Tom to say yes to come do this show. I'm very excited that he's going to be here. It's very cool. Yeah, and I was going to read his intro off a piece of paper, but when it came time to print from Wikipedia, like I always do when I do my homework, it said, do you want to print all in black? So I said, why, yes, I'll conserve. Bing! All the hyperlink text, all the blue is now gone, and there's no There's a lot of blue on Wikipedia words. for those. There is. <laughs> Everything important is gone. <laughs> Wait it is. See if you can guess. I, I'm going to. We're going to go to a burn. We're going to go to a burn unit. We're going to go to a commercial, and then we'll be back with more burn unit and Tom Mullica, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, so Tom stick around. You're about to be mesmerized. It's yellow. It's phallic. It's the magical gravity sensation that's sweeping the nation. It's Banshee. You don't need training. You barely need practice. You don't even need hands. Banana Shigi! Once you watch our instructional mind-blowing DVD, you'll learn moves like the Thunder Noodle Wong, the Duty Poop Shoot, the Hippity Flippity, and many, many more. Buy a bunch to up your skills to the max. Fives believe. Ladies and gentlemen, one of America's clowns, Red Skelton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Boy, you sure know how to make a nervous guy relax. That's very flattering to walk out on a stage and hear applause without really doing anything. That's probably the most applause I'm going to hear all morning, so I'll be smart and say goodbye now. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're flying over the ocean, and this jet goes by. <laughs> she said, did you see how fast that bird was going? He said, yes, yeah, so what? You'd go that fast, too, if your tail were on fire. <laughs> <laughs> 
She said, I'm tired of laying eggs. It's a pain in the neck. He said, I think you're doing it the wrong way. You're always complaining. Come on, follow me. So they fly down to City Hall. He said, you're tired of laying eggs? Watch the mayor down there. He's going to lay a cornerstone. <laughs> we are back with Burn Unit, and our guest is Tom Mullica. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Uh, Tom does one of the most unique acts you'll ever see in magic. Uh, in fact, nobody even comes close to imitating what he can do. Uh, he also is the star of Red. Uh, he's a fabulous impersonator. He does Red Skeleton. And... He's a personal friend, was a personal friend of, of Red's, and we're going to introduce him, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Mullica! What do you think, personally, about um, being dirty during your show? During my show? No, during, just uh, any comic doing, doing filthy material. Red said, funny, though. when Red saw my show, at the end of the show, he said, I looked, up, I looked around when you did some suggestive jokes, and the, 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 there was a lot of people looking at each other. It's like when you, the first person that tells a dirty joke at a party, yeah. you say, is, that, is this going to be funny? Am I going to be wrong doing this? They tell you it, and everybody You were in Branson, though, but you were in Branson. That's a whole different well, world. He told me that night I met him, Jonathan, he says, if you stop doing those 12 or 15 suggestive jokes, he says, I'll give you permission to use my material. And that's how it all started. Oh, I would definitely t do that. I mean, yeah. that, if well, that was a condition of that, it. Well, yeah. Definitely. And it wasn't a condition like a contract, but he was nicely saying, you're welcome to use my material if you stop doing those. He just didn't think I needed it. Right. He says, you're very clever and you don't need that. Yeah, you don't really need to say it. It's, no. It's, but it's sure, certainly the greatest can, comics in the world. Yeah, but it certainly can punch up a line, though. Yeah. I mean, Milt Larson was telling me what you're telling me. And, I, and you know the trick where he puts a cannonball through the glass and mm -hmm. it breaks mm -hmm. and everything breaks. I said, Milt, just for the hell of it, just go, let there be a long pause of silence and then go, fuck. And he did it, and he brought the house down, and he, he's always remembered that, you know. I, t I teach the other the other value of, of doing that that in your show, you I know. I agree with that. It can punch up a line, man. You did the same thing with me when I dropped the cards. You said, I'm going to give you the same line now, and you built it up, and I'm expecting this great comedy line <laughs> to come at me. And I'm like, yeah, what, what? Because you should try this line here when you drop the cards before I go down. Just pause. And then I give you the same advice. Fuck, yeah. I think that's the only advice I give everybody. <laughs> he finds the one, the one spot in your show where that word works. You know where Red Skeleton? No, I'm kidding. You should <laughs> just pause and go. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> But there well, like is, I said, you know, he was filthy. He 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 did a ha an hour rehearsal before his show, and it's called the Dirty Hour. And everybody from CBS came down to his studio to watch the Dirty Hour, and it was filthy. Right. And then they taped the show, and that's why there was a lot of laughing, and and um, because he'd do stuff that they weren't expecting them to do. But he never left them hanging. He always knew how to get them out or to help them. All right, let's go way, let's go way, way back. You're okay. born, you're, you start to do Miss. Oh, you just. Oh, <laughs> you don't know how technically dangerous what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could bring a whole show to. Oh my God! Is a, oh my God! I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Now the lights are on. I won't do that know. anymore. God damn it! One super, stupid sight gag. I'm and sorry. A light. No, I'm kidding. I can fix that real easy. Watch. Okay. Okay. Did you fire? Oh God! Was that me? So, anyway, now that's your back, Father. <laughs> I, was I thought they say, cut this off when I was a baby. Uh, say, <laughs> your mom gave you more cord than that. <laughs> all right, now say to me, <laughs> let's go far, Let's go back. So, so, okay, let's so, go back. And all right, hold on. <laughs> you got to go back, too, so we're all even. I don't all right, think years goes there back we go. anymore. Yeah. Now, you're in Wisconsin. Back. You're born in Wisconsin. Yeah. When's the first time you walked into a magic shop? Abbott's in 1965. So it was Abbott's, and then that, Abbott's. That, that's where you moved to. You moved to yeah. Cullen. I moved to I'm Cullen. a Michigan guy, too. Are you? Yeah. Where? I'm from, uh, I'm not from Michigan. Okay. No, I'm from East Detroit, actually. Oh. I'm from outside of Detroit, which is a great we town. We used to live in Detroit. The first house nice on the right-hand side, bullet. just when you're coming in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't question anymore. I think the reason Red said that to me is he said, <laughs> it's, it's not, cl it's a clever person, when they say something clever, it's more appreciated than you just say say something to get an effect to me. Yeah. yeah. Don't you think when you I say think, something clever? Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, I don't hear your, I don't hear the dirty word. I hear the cleverness for what it is. With and the dirty word is just something that's attached to it. Yeah. Most people 
don't do that. Most people see just the dirty word right. and they don't see the cleverness. I can see through the word right. fuck into the clever. Of, yeah, uh, and the then why do we say on TV the F word, the N word? As soon as you say the F word, everyone in their mind goes fuck. Mm. Right. So yeah. why can't everybody... If you say the N-word, everyone knows what you're saying anyways. I was in the bathroom once. We were traveling, doing a show, and I was <laughs> in the toilet. This is a true story. And I was sitting there like this, and on the door, which is right about here, was the little teeniest writing you've ever seen in your life. This is really true. And I was going like this, and I had trying to keep my ass in there. I was going forward like this, and I had took my glasses off. And you know what it said? What? You are now shitting at a 45-degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And I've been wanting to do it, but I can't write that small. How oh, that's wrote that? Funny. Isn't that funny? I like that. Uh, <laughs> you could write it that big, and I would drop. I would start oh, with yeah. that. I can't do it the Depends on their, their age. Oh, yeah. If you're, over, if you're over 45, you could write that big in your story. <laughs> <laughs> you can add the you old fuck. <laughs> so what's the first, uh, the question I asked you, though, the, the magic shop in Colon, what's the first trick that you bought that got you going? A book. A book? Yeah. He bought a book. Wow, he's the one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I had like 50 bucks to spend. I worked all summer long on a farm. I worked all week. Are you saying you made $50 for working all summer long? $15 a week on a farm. For, uh, 50 hours. That's horrible. I How know. do you get that gig? <laughs> I worked all summer and I saved up some money. I took a bus to Colon and the, uh, what Neil Foster said, if you, that's all the money you got. He said, buy a book. There's a lot of tricks in it. If you buy a trick, it's a trick. That's good advice. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I bought the Encyclopedia of Cigarette Tricks. Of course you uh, did. That may know it's all coming together. There's an encyclopedia, encyclopedia of cigarette tricks. Oh, yeah. song, really? I have yeah. it. I do. Do you? Yeah. But yeah. you can't do what Tom does. Absolutely no, not. Does. I don't think anyone. You can gotta do what see Tom what Tom does. Okay, I'll do We're, some. Okay. You got it. Yay! You got it? I, didn't know, oh! I didn't know whether to ask you that. Well, oh, this is really cool. All right, this is awesome. I know. I'm you kind of nervous about right. Do I have an ashtray? No. I don't want to burn. Yeah, here's I don't want to burn anything. Pretend like it's an this is the burn unit. Yeah, oh, this is the ashtray. Please, pretend like it this is. Was a candle. Okay. Take the candle. I'll put yeah, this cigarette like in this. the ashtray and then we'll move it over here. I know. Where's those two little vials of explosives? Here. Is, can I really put that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want the little candle out or do you want out of it? Just All right, me. Sophie, there, Sorry. okay? Thank you. All right. I'll scoop I bought that on the internet. Let's well, oh. a pack of cigarettes. It's a little cigarette case. That is Isn't very that? cool. Lucky Padded. strike. Yeah. You can't buy six cigarettes anywhere. They're non-filtered. Really? It's hard to find a pack of Camels or Lucky Strikes like this that are non-filtered. Hmm. That would be, I can't that'd do the be because of the cancer thing, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is more cancerous. Than, oh, that's true. Yeah. Yes. The pell mell just went right. Are yeah. you looking to see if this is phony or anything? No, I'm not. I'm oh, just that's like, a Now, this is a real undoctored cigarette. When you are next to Tom Mulca and mean, he's got a cigarette in his hand, you just focus. Yeah, you yeah. gotta do, don't you? You have yeah. to really... All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to smoke. He's just going to smoke. That's going to be the trick. Mm -hmm. I right. just don't. Oh. <laughs> Let me put this down. Can the camera get this? Are you on this, guys? You better get on this. If you miss one shot, I will beat your ass. <laughs> no sleeves. <Ow! laughs> I haven't done this I for a saw long time. Twice. I saw it in your hand and said, is that really bad? I, I don't like, know. I, know. I, know. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. It's an Indian joke. Oh. <laughs> when he said I got that? it. I got oh, it. Yeah. He said, fuck. <laughs> he swore. He swore. Now, I'm going to do some stuff I haven't done in 17 years. I haven't done this since, we, uh, since I started the Red Skelton show. Oh, it's still wrong. Now, if you'd like to learn <laughs> <laughs> this dangerous magical trick with a lit burning <laughs> butt, <laughs> yes, this will burn your lip. <laughs> you are burning your lip. You don't have any lips. You got really thin lips. I do. You do. I think that if anybody else did that, did you just eat it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He sounds like a proud little kid. Yeah. No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! That was brilliant! Yeah. Oh, thank you. 
But I just noticed he does have thin lips, doesn't he? Oh, Did you oh, okay, all right. Oh, Jesus. You know you gotta watch these cute, crazy tie-ins, but when I watched Lance, at, when he did the cigarette vanish, he laid it on his tongue. You know the bit at the end he used to do? Did you teach him that by no, any chance? No, I'm sure he got that. That's an okay. old thing. A lot of magicians did that in the 40s. But you just 50s. wonder whether or not somebody spoke to someone of the connections and magic being well, Most of the are. time, when kids try and do that, God, I'm going to need hard, a shower It's after hard this. to find anyone who, anything like that that you can pin down who did it for. Yeah, but you wonder if somebody I, went to someone and said, I've been oh, working be two cool. years on a new act, because when, when I quit the Red Skeleton show, I'm going to start doing my stage act like I did at the Crazy Horse again. And I'm not going to do the eating the cigarettes like I used to because I couldn't get health insurance and it was really bad for me. I bet it was. I was doing three packs a day every day. How much were you actually eating? Holy moly. Nothing. Nothing. No. Just smoking. Well, yeah, and, but just the uh, just the secondhand smoke is enough to kill you. I mean, if I, I watch myself when I do the trick. So all your audiences are probably dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you afford an air conditioner? Right? You know what? First of all, we're in the fucking desert. Okay? Take that into consideration. Uh, we can't have the air conditioning going because it makes noise. And but why are you sweating even, less than me? You have a, that's why you wear that sweat band. Because I switched from coke to speed and you don't sweat as much. <laughs> you asked. Yeah. You want to know? You just ask. Okay, now that's, that's in his mouth. and. He didn't swallow it. He tells me he doesn't swallow it, and, and it looks very natural. Right? <laughs> yeah, I do. I have, I have this, Tom. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Tampex, I don't need it. No! Oh. <laughs> Uh, they would work if you didn't push. Can I do the n you're writing a love letter line again? Or yeah, no? go ahead. No. I'm sweating like... like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm just sweating. You know why do you, you know why he eats those napkins, you guys? He doesn't have to buy toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Smell. This is I, wow. Do you want napkins? What? Actual napkins. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, appearing napkins. Wow. <coughs> yeah, I used to eat those too, remember? First I'd do the cigarettes. All right. <laughs> I shouldn't have done the napkin eating thing. No, I shouldn't Can't. do it. No, do it. No. Those are fresh. I'd rather do a different trick just to make the cigarette disappear. Okay, now ask me a question. Okay. <laughs> Subtle, subtle. Yeah. Yeah. This is poolside magic. <laughs> it's not that hot in here, Tom. It's hotter than hell. It's not, really. I'm going to be See? my own Sears and Roebuck air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again, it is hot. <laughs> Those are gags I used to do at the bar. That's pretty good. And Johnny Thompson told me the other night, he says, because I've been having a hard time selling the Red Show in the last couple of years, because it's like things are changing, people don't pay the prices they used to pay. Have you thought about doing somebody else, another character, somebody that the kids know? Maybe Sam Kinison? <laughs> or someone with Tourette's, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just come on. That's it. No, Johnny says what you're trying to do is you're trying to sell, you're trying to find out ways to make more money with what you've got, and you're losing out on which, what's the most valuable part, which is my reputation and what I did. He says you should do the bar again. Yeah, yeah, you did. Said, you, you had a bar in Vegas too, didn't you? There was a pool hall, really. Pool. And it never, never worked because the guy that we were subleasing from never opened. He just kept building and he never opened. And we were like six months behind and telling everybody we were going to be open. So we just. So you think about left. doing another bar here? Thinking about it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It'd be all new again, you know. It kind of would. It would if be all you need new. Any investors. I, I left in 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So you had to be. So I remember I came to see the location. Mm -hmm. Going to be 66 this month. I'm tired of traveling, you know, we've been traveling all my life, and I'm just tired of that, and I I'm still have cancer, yeah, I'm not in the fifth year of my uh, that's cancer. That's what I want to talk about. Now, you found out you had leukemia, mm -hmm. and uh, how, many, how many years ago was that? I'm in my fifth year now, just started, today is my, when you have a stem cell transplant, they call it your second birthday, 
Right. Because you're born again, I would have died. Right. And now so you are the, you are one of the first. Wow. You That's are amazing. the first person I've ever heard of that, that had stem cell uh, therapy and, and, and recovered well, from it. Now it doesn't well, happen my, with. <laughs> <laughs> that was my point. I was, <laughs> <laughs> That's I nothing to joke it. about, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Oh, that would have been epic. Oh, yeah. oh my. That would have been like See, it's going to be episode. like, for you, what it's going to be like for me, people first going, oh, he's kidding around. Don't worry about it. That's right. get up. And then that's the crucial time. In that crucial time, when you still could have brain function, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's when they figure out that you're not joking and that you get up and they help you after you now well, you're, when I now you're in, retarded. And you know, the nurses are around you when you're checking into your room for the first time. Yeah. She's asking me while they're giving me the IV and all that for everything, like the chemo. This the nurse is saying to me, "Would you like to be resuscitated if something goes wrong?" <laughs> well, yeah. While they're giving me this shit, I said, "Well, I'm glad we're talking about this now because yeah, I would like to be resuscitated." Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's when they start to sweat. You know. And you want to check that she ticked the right box too. Can I just have another little look? Yeah. At the yogurt? And they try to talk you out of it. Are you sure? <laughs> uh -huh. But it happened in a show in, in Nebraska. I was out doing a show and I felt weak. I couldn't talk. I felt like I was having a stroke. I couldn't breathe. And I told the audience, I said, is there a doctor in the audience? And they all laughed at me because I thought it was a joke. Yeah. And then I said, is there a nurse in the audience a couple of minutes later? And they still laughed. And there was a guy in the audience who was a, a, a medic and he, ta he knew I was serious because I couldn't talk. I said, I, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to give you your money back. And I went into the wings and I was on the floor. Now when I do Red Skelton... Were you, were you dizzy? I, mean, I felt like I was having a stroke. I, I was like this, and I, and I talked like I couldn't catch a breath. I couldn't talk. And when I went in there, when I do Red Skelton, I taped my ears down because he didn't have big, wide ears like that. Yeah. His ears were on the side of his head, so my ears were taped you down. Tape your ears down? Well, not only that, Pete Byro had an idea years ago. He would tuck his shirt in his pants, and then he'd be at a convention, and his shirt would be like this, you know, and he'd say, watch, and he'd go like that with his stomach, and the shirt would go, Pork. real perfect, no wrinkles or anything, and he had elastic on the here, and it would go through his legs onto the back of his shirt. Right. And that's a good thing to do with a tuck shirt, because you never see wrinkles, it's always flat. Right. So I had these straps going between my legs. Well, when the medics hauled me into the wings, I'm on the floor, and they wanted to do an EKG on me. So they started un unbuttoning my shirt to open it up, and the guy pulled it up, and he let go of it, and it went, <laughs> and went back down. He's going, what the fuck is this? And he does it again, he pulls it up, and it goes, like that. And then they tried to put the oxygen thing in, and they couldn't go over my ears because my ears were taped down. Oh, how funny. Oh. And I was doing lines, and I mean, I was, I didn't know what was going on. Wow. But the, the doctor told me that night, he says, you got leukemia. I said, you don't catch, you don't get leukemia like that. I just had a colonoscopy last week, and my blood, my blood was great. He said that's what acute leukemia means. You catch it overnight and they have no idea where it Seriously, comes from. Seriously, you get it overnight and mm -hmm. they don't know where it comes yeah. from? They still don't know what causes it. That is so weird. It's very that strange. is so weird. I wonder if it's something you eat or something. or, or It just changes that quick, huh? You know, when I eat popcorn, my doctor taught me I shit popcorn. When I eat tobacco, I shit tobacco. My doctor said, well, just eat shit. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to throw as much dirty stuff in here as yeah, I can yeah. so that it you doesn't... Don't, you, don't, you, you don't have to do that to please me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Although it does please yeah, her. It does please her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you find out you get leukemia, and what is the worst they tell you that's going to happen? What, how, how bad did it actually they get? They can't tell you because they don't know. Every patient is different. Some people in my ward were, you know... Families were up there crying, and deaths were every day. It's like it's you don't know. I probably would have died without the stem cell transplant. So how did you think to try stem cell? Well, who told My you about it? My doctor told me. He said really? you got to have it. See, when I've I been went, told I have to have it too, but not. But it's always somebody shady coming up to me and telling me, you know, I know no. a guy who knows a guy who knows My a guy. My doctor was the best doctor, the best uh, chemo. Uh, That's what I want. Leukemia I want doctor. doctor. He's in Saint, he was in St. Louis, so yeah. I was so lucky to be living near uh, St. Louis. And he's not just because it's stem cell stuff, yeah. not because it's a nice. No, but it's a, it's a yeah. yeah, it's a brown groundbreaking college, and he travels all over the world and teaches to doctors about stem cells and stuff. He's really. And now, is it legal or illegal? Oh, it's legal. It's legal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it illegal everywhere in every state? I don't know. I think so. No. I think Bush was the only thing that held it up, wasn't he? George I heard the guy. Yeah. Mm. And the, 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 you had to find a donor. Yeah, I got a ten out of ten match, which is perfect. And you're not allowed to, I still haven't met the person. They won't allow you to meet the person. I'm dying to meet, not dying, but what I'm... What if it's a 
Plastic. What if it's in? Plastic. Yeah. Plastic. I have been eating a lot of chicken and watermelon <laughs> lately. God. That's right. I know. I should have thought of that. <laughs> and. But I went into the I went into the hospital the next day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can always count on your partner, can't you? Yeah, let's yeah. edit that if we can edit that. <laughs> yeah, we can, but we won't. You know, I've got to say, though, the, the funny thing for me right now is you two had the two best weddings I've ever been to in my life. You two had the two best. Mm -hmm. Your wedding was amazing. I and heard. Your she told me amazing. something about your wedding. It, it was, was amazing. Great. Everyone had clown nose, and you had to pick a button that said gay, straight, or undecided. And and you did this vanishing person where this girl vanished from here and appeared back here. It was the guy that was marrying us. We had it was dressed, and he, we held up a, a thing in front of him that had my uh, the things that Wedding we vows. Were, vows. Mm -hmm. And when we pulled it down, he you was dressed as a complete clown. clown makeup. And yes. then everybody in the whole room had clown wow. noses on, except for us. We looked around, and everybody, Lance, everybody was there. It was, wonder, it was wonderful. Wonderful picture of Channing Pollock standing there looking like this, and Lance has stood there with a clown nose on and gay, straight, and undecided badge right next to each other. But it's great. Why didn't that make the cover a genie? It's or a wonderful yeah. photo because yeah. it's almost like this look of. Why are you doing this? You want to hear the, the bad part of it? Uh, where we used to live, right down the street where we're living now, there's a school. And over our backyard fence, there was a school and this playground and everything. Well, after we had that ceremony, I think we came here for a couple of days to vacation. And we came home, with, there was a note on our door that said the police were, wanted to see us. And what happened was, I gave Stephen a money tree. Uh -huh. We had a tree in the back of our property that was had no leaves in it, so I got a hundred one dollar bills and I stapled them all over the tree. And I oh, said, how There's cool! A, yeah, what I thought it was a neat idea. Well, when we were in Vegas we were weekend, and we yeah. came back, the police wanted us because they, the school over there said they were we were trying to lure kids over there, but with the money. Are you That's serious? True. You know what? That's a good way to do it, though. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> this that is not is only entertaining, it's informative. That must have been It's an infomercial. So, you must have been so angry. <clears throat> yes, because, I mean, we moved away from that house. Now we came back 15 years later. We buy in the same neighborhood. And the homeowners association still has one member that remembers us. <laughs> Those guys with the money tree are back. You should have convinced them that it was a real money tree. Well, that's right. She was the president of the association. Oh, I, I just think it's funny that the Catholic school would be the ones jumping to those conclusions. Because like every time I thought a money tree and I that's know. what it was for. You really? know? It's like... So it doesn't have to be at gunpoint, huh? <laughs> really? Oh. Really? That's that joke, isn't it? What Gun in the trunk. That's all you need. Gun <laughs> in the trunk. That's always been my motto. Gun in the trunk. You know, I crossed paths with you quite a bit when I was working trade shows. I saw you at the airports quite a bit in the 70s. Every now and then I'd see you and Penny and stuff. I, never, I didn't know you back then. But and I if you would have come up to us, we would have been very gracious, I'm sure. Well, you look beat. <laughs> I look beat? <laughs> you look beat. Must have been an off day. Yeah. <laughs> right? uh, Usually I don't look beat. Usually I look ready to go. Especially back then. I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. Good. So I want to show a clip of you on David Letterman because this is what made me. I was already a fan, but this is what made me the uber fan of Tom Mulca. Uh, being able to deal with David Letterman, who kind of takes a position against magicians. Uh, most most talk show hosts have a resentment against magicians. I think. He only had magicians on at that time that he would poke fun of, like Penn and, except for Penn and Teller. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, what was the guy's name that he used to oh, have the on all the Karnak time? Karnak or Karm? Right, the guy that, uh, that he used to The Kmart, Kmart. Kmart. Oh, that was always Ooh, fun, wasn't He tortured it? that poor guy. Oh, and the guy was on time and time again thinking that he was on because he was and good. And he was doing tricks so bad they were, he was exposing stuff and everything. Do you remember some of the crap of the, uh, yeah. the sword through the neck it and the sword awful. bent? It was, it was horrible. Wobbly sword, true neck. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, so, but but you went on, and that kind of that kind of blew that whole thing apart. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a clip of, of Tom on Letterman dealing with with Dave being a kind of a douche, and then uh, uh, setting him straight. And then Dave's going to come in here and talk to us about it. Aww, that'll be nice. Dave Dave is a weird weird he cat. Sure is. He Speaking really of uh, censorship, I, I've been on twice, and he's he's cut stuff from my show yeah. because he the first time I went on he so he told me not to be funny well, he, he told you not who was the stage director I know his name Robert Morton mm -hmm. yeah Morton yeah uh, I was I was right behind them there in that in that green room and I had the mic on I was just ready to go on and he looked at me Morton and he says no don't do anything funny I says what do you mean don't do anything funny that's what I do 
He says, no, we're not going to say your name. <laughs> Just go out there and eat Jesus. the cigarettes, and we're not even going to say anything about your bar. And I said, well, what do you think I'm here for, you know? And Jane Pauley was on before me, and she talked a long time, and I got bumped, so I never was on. She's a nasty cunt for that. Oh! So I went back to Atlanta, and like two days later, they called, and they said, no, we had someone cancel. Can you come and do the show tonight? And I said, well, not if I'm going to be treated the way I was last time. I said, you told me not to be funny, you know. And well, I went back, and they had stuff in the dressing room, and everybody was nice, and but yeah. I, never, I never was asked back. Yeah, well, they Martin banned me from the show for ten mm -hmm. years. Really? Yeah. What did you do? I flipped somebody off. I made somebody a bet that I wouldn't flip them off at some point during the show. So I, when Dave was talking to me, I scratched my nose like that, and Morton caught me doing it and mm -hmm. said, "Is that, that for me? Did you direct that towards me?" And I, I should wow. have said yes. I, yeah, you should have known what I was know, coming. You say yes. Yeah. yeah. I said no, that one wasn't, but these are for you now. <laughs> So yeah, it was. That's a little paranoid, isn't yeah. it? You think that everyone who does that, it must be at me. You've got to have yeah. a little bit of an it. Yeah. Sort of an So issue. let's watch uh, Tom on Dave. Yay! Huh? <laughs> let's watch Tom on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Stephen? Yeah. Here it goes. Yay! Let's get on and uh, see what you do. You, uh, you're a magician, a comedian, and uh, I guess you're going to show us a little of what uh, people would see if they came to your club in Atlanta. That's Every probably night. what we should do. All right, go right ahead. Would you like to open? Would you like to open that pack of cigarettes? Package of uh, an unopened package of American cigarettes. To save time, we'll use this one. <laughs> well, you can open. Oh, I that can go thing. ahead and open them. Up. About this refrigerator guy, you should take it easy. The guy suffering from anorexia ponderosa. <laughs> Kind of thing you'll enjoy at the tomfoolery every night in Atlanta. Okay. Now, do you want do you want these out of here, Tom? That'd be fine. Okay. Would you like to hand me one? I'll hand you just one. Is that what you'd like? We'll start with one. All right. One one cigarette. It's a normal cigarette. It hasn't been doctored. A cigarette you'd buy over the counter any drugstore, tobacco exactly shop. Exactly right. Magazine stand. A cigarette. There you Thank go. Thank you. You don't mind if I smoke, do you? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's the end of the act. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, do you mind if I inhale? Oh, uh, let's try another one, uh, Mr. Letterman. All right, there you go. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> should, you, uh, should we play this more in a different way? No, or? do whatever you do and... Uh... Good Lord. I'm just a magician. Yeah, I see. Okay. Oh, there goes an eyebrow. Hell, that's a disposable lighter. Okay. Ow! Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've got dog hairs all over my jacket. My dog was on the couch the other night. I said, get down! And he went... This would be the patter portion yes, of your show. Yes, this is the yeah, part of the comedy. The patter, yeah, all right. Okay, we have just, oh my God. Oh my God. What do you, what do you need, the light? Oh, I have uh -huh. one. Okay. Could you move away just a happy. second? Yes. I don't want to burn you. No, I appreciate that. There's two cigarettes. What happened? Then does it, are you, are you, do you burn yourself doing that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, how many is that? Is that is that the fourth? You have four going now. You have three in there and one. Good Lord. Gee. Is it getting hotter in here? Do yeah, you? It seems, seems to be a little warm. Sure. Oh, God. <laughs> The wall will No, that's all right. This, this, by the way, is the kind of guy you're going to see on almost any. Oh. oh. 
Now, you how mind many, if I smoke? Now, how many do you have in there now? I think I dropped one. Yeah. How, how, how many do you have in there? There's four. I'm in too much pain to count. There's, no, you have five there. Yeah. Okay. Is this a big deal? Have you ever seen anybody do this many? N no. No, I've never seen anything well, like it at all. Let's do it for the Letterman show. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh. Can we get you some topol? <laughs> yeah, we have just about we have just about one minute here. Well, that's um, it. That's it. And and what now? What became of those things? That's the magic. Yeah, I know that. But where where did they go? You really want to know? Well, I mean, you, are, do you still have? They any? go in here. They go round that's and enough, round that's and. Enough. and enough. Uh, Tom oh, Mullica, oh, ladies and oh, gentlemen, oh. Gee, man. <laughs> Nice job, Tom. Thank you very much. We'll uh, we'll be back here with Pete Townsend. That's right, John. Oh, thank you. Wow. Unbelievable. Isn't that cool? That, you will never see anybody do that show ever, because that is, that's a one-of-a-kind act, and, and you made your uh, fortune with that Yeah, act. that's my how long that's did it take? Legacy. How long did it take to learn? I started with one. You know, one night I just threw it in my mouth, and I thought if, I go, if it goes in my mouth, it'll be funny. And if it doesn't, I'll catch it between my lips, and then I... Could catch it so you, I saw you just do f like four or five sets of four. Three sets of four. Three there's sets 12. of four. There's, a, there's four on top of four on top of four. Right. That's really all. There's four on top of my tongue, and then all the other ones just go on top of it. And then uh, uh, do they all do they, uh, do they all stay lit or not? Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Isn't but it the, most, the most dangerous part is the, 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 the lid end of the cigarette is right behind my teeth. There's like 12 lit cigarettes. So what my... could have caused that change in his blood overnight? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I asked him, too. I said, does smoking have anything to do with this leukemia? Yeah, he said, no, we've never proven anything that... And then that's There's when no you went, oh, yeah, watch this. And then, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, I was just, so people said, why do, how do you do that? Well, it's not how, it's why do I do that? Do you have any other acts that are like that? Well, I did this one night. <laughs> Um, did you hear that? What's what is that? You made me smart. We have another trough of corn for over here. But... <laughs> That'll do, pig. <laughs> do, that some, do that sometime. Go in the bathroom in a casino or something and just do this. And then walk out. You just walk out in the casino out of the toilet Wait, like that. It's funny if you do that to somebody else and then oh, okay. they, they have to walk out. Yeah, no, it wouldn't show on your pants. <laughs> no, I like good water tricks. There's one, uh, this is, this is my favorite one. Mm. <laughs> 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 See, he, li he likes that one too. I do. That's, That's great. great. Or I've seen, if there's a real candle, I've seen a guy with water in his mouth go like this. It looked like he's blowing the candle out with snot from his nose, but he's spitting water out of his mouth at the same time he did that. So at least saw something go in and put the candle oh, out. That's oh, that's really? You thought it was from his nose, and you're like, Oops. horrified. Wouldn't that have been good? I hit the spot I was aiming for. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to go over that candle. It's done like this, Tom. <coughs> oh, that would have been so awesome. Here's one Carol Fox show. You know Carol Fox. I know Fox. Carol Fox. Okay, he got me into magic. Oh. Carol Fox used to do W.C. Fields. Yeah. Did he? He did the commercials for Frito-Lay. Yeah, he, he was, was the voice great. for Frito-Lay. You can use this one before you do the burn thing. Uh-huh. Carol would say you can take it, take a nap and, and fold it into the smallest that you can get it until it gets so small that you can't even see it. Oh, that's great. That looks yeah, really that good. That looks really you just, nice. You just rip it off in your hand and fold it up and just take this away and... I forgot. I think I used to drop this behind the bar, and then I'd, oh, I'd do a faint this way, and then it would disappear. Yeah. That is yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, Carol was a neat guy. He was very generous. That works. That's a good technique. Watch. Check this out. Ordinary cup. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. And not only that, one appeared over here. <laughs> 
I that's know, yeah. just a little after. Little, yeah. Not many people put that extra touch on. You know, no matter how many <laughs> friends you have, and no matter how popular you think you are, the size of your funeral is going to depend on the weather. <laughs> <laughs> a good point. That's a good point. Bob Lewis's line. You want to close your show with that? Isn't that's that great? Good. It's, and, and it's appropriate. <laughs> Thanks, Did you know that tinkling in your pants is like friendship? Everybody can see it, but only you can feel its true warmth. <laughs> it was wonderful being here, John. No, you go grab three. You think you're out of it. Oh, you're not out of it. <laughs> grab three. Well, not every yeah, nigger. No, 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 no. Grab three puppets. Okay. Grab three. Which one do you want? I, I, you pick one for me and pick one for Sophie. Okay, we you don't gotta have, be the policeman. We don't have a choice. Uh, this isn't constable. Uh, oh, constable. Yeah, policeman's kind of a uh, yeah, modern one, term for that. Do you want anything special? I don't care. I'll let you pick. Oh, look. Aww. I could just imagine the filth that's going to come out of that thing's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what Tom picks for himself. This is really kind of a psychological thing. Oh, the no, chimp. Geez. The chimp. Take your hand out of my ass. Oh, I think <laughs> because I think the chimp might represent a black person. <gasps> Holy muck, Randy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's got a heart on. What is this? <laughs> <It's> just, oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, watch me swing in the stick. Wait, the mouth doesn't go in the, doesn't, oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> we always start with Sophie. I always get to stop this little yes. section. She always has this weird joke. That Show us your tits. And if it's bad, we make her tell it three times. They do, and I fooled for it like twice before I realized. We tell you that this one must be good the first time. Okay, I can pick any race I want, right? Yes. <laughs> Cool. Preferably. <laughs> Preferably. Go on, Wonder Woman. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Wonder if she's a woman. <laughs> so, <laughs> this American gets off her plane in in Australia. Why is she holding the puppet up to her face? So, <laughs> so people. Don't know it's her time. That's right. My lips aren't moving at all. <laughs> she goes to the Edgar Bergman. Edgar, Edgar Bergman. On the radio. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a radio man. I know what I've done. This is not the first time I've been called on that. You'd think what? I would have thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. oh. <laughs> tell, you, tell your joke. Make it a quick one. Because <laughs> he knows it's going to be bad, so let's just at least oh, make it quick. Oh, it's bad because it's long already. <laughs> so Texan gets in the cab. It's in the airport. And he's driving along and he sees the bridge and he says to the cab driver, "What's that?" And the cab driver says, "Sydney Harbour Bridge." He goes, "That's not a big bridge. I thought it was going to be a big bridge." Well, it's a little bridge. And then he keeps driving, keeps driving. It's just then, a one-liner. No, 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 no. no. And then, <laughs> this is a sixteen-liner. <laughs> and then the Texan's driving along and and he sees the Sydney Opera House and he says, "What's that?" And he says, "The Sydney Opera House." And he goes, "Oh, that's, that's not a very big opera, opera house. house. The Texas Opera House is four times that size." Yes. And they're driving along and next thing you know, a kangaroo jumps across the road and the car swerves. And, and it goes off the road and bangs into a tree. And the Texan says, what? What's that? And the cab driver says, What? You don't have any fucking grasshoppers in Texas? <laughs> huh? Uh. Oh, shit, burn you. Eventually, he'll stop asking me to do racist puppets. <laughs> that, is, that, come, that time comes now. <laughs> Follow that. <laughs> that should be easy. All right. I love Your turn, monkey. Why is it his? Are you the la are you the last one? Your turn, my look at who's wearing the police hat? <laughs> Me. <laughs> you want some? No. As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> Something happens when you put this thing. In. Yeah. I felt sorry for Geechee and Johnny when they did this. Now I'm sitting here doing it. Yeah. Okay. Are They're you? at home feeling sorry for you. <laughs> If I had my lady here. <laughs> no, that's Jay and Lefty. <laughs> oh, God, Jay and Lefty. There's a reference everyone I knows. did a ventriloquist tape with Jay. You know Tony Hassini? I know Jay. Yeah, I know Tony. He did those the guy that tapes. you can buy awards from. Yeah. Cheap tapes. I threw it away. That's right. I <laughs> can buy awards. I want to be magician of the yeah. millennium. Well, that, you have to talk that's to Tony right. about that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> He tried to get out of his racist joke, but I'm not going to let him. <laughs> Tony fucked the. No. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is. 
I have a reputation to. Yeah, it's gone now. To yeah. fix. <laughs> but I did this tape. <laughs> I did this tape with Jay. We we're on camera, and Hassini was sitting out there, and he says, "Tom, could you go through the alphabet with your mouth again to show the difficult letters?" So I went A, D, C, D, and when I got to D, Jay took over. He was sitting right next to me. Yeah. He went. Uh, F N N. He, he did the whole alphabet, and then he looked at me and he said, "That was unbelievable." <laughs> <laughs> he ad lived it. It was wonderful. That's it's, on e it's on oh. YouTube. Today was great. I saw Jay get up from a table, tuck the tablecloth into his back of his pants like it was his shirt, and walk. <laughs> And it pulled everything off the table, and people around were going, oh, that poor old man thought that was his shirt tail. And I'm like, no, he didn't. He fucking did that on I purpose. Did that, that old man's like the devil. <laughs> I think Spank Billy did he do the did, same Yeah, thing. well, Billy did You know what he did at our thing. wedding? Do you remember what Jay did at our wedding? No, I, I Right in the middle of the wedding, that phone rang for that girl to walk to the back. Uh -huh. And when the phone rang, Jay said, somebody better get that. It may be God. <laughs> A gay wedding. <laughs> Everybody was dying. <laughs> I haven't got it. I already did the worst joke I can do. The one I said earlier. Uh, <laughs> I want. I just want control of this stick while you're doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. You don't have to do it if you don't want okay. to. Okay. I don't. Do I have a joke, Stephen? I've told. Could be all. like. Yeah, you did tell a lot of black jokes before the camera I went out. Oh, fresh out of them, I'm sure. I'd be surprised if he had another one. I don't, even I know don't he think he does. You call yourself a racist. I don't even know a Polak joke or anything. You don't even know a Polak joke? No. Because you're on the spot. Now, as soon as the camera goes off, you're going to know millions no, of them. Really? I've told you all the good ones, the, the tinkling, and I've told you all the good ones. Bullshit. <laughs> well, yeah, like Sophie's told me all, all her good ones. Knock it off. <laughs> you don't have to, Tom. Okay. That's all right. I, don't, I, I can't think of one either. Wow, I just got duped. <laughs> She's the one you want to beat up. Apparently so. Can I go so, now? Two ladies talking in the store. This is not a racist joke. This okay. is a, two ladies in the store <laughs> picking out, looking at potatoes. One says, these remind me of my husband's balls. She says, the other one says, your husband's balls are that big? She goes, no, they're this dirty. <laughs> 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 they were Irish. <laughs> All right, put the race. <laughs> My obligation is done. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to end with a good, really good joke, though. Oh, I have one good one. No, Sophie's going to do it. <laughs> is, is the president of Coca Cola said to the president of 7 Up? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't tell that. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Mullica, my host. My host. <laughs> My liege. <laughs> Sophie Evans. I've had a great time with you, Tom. Thank you Thank very you. much what for coming. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very Thank much, you. Sophie. We'll see you next week. Yay. With more burn unit.